Watching satellite and radar closely across the southeast, we've had some feisty storms roll through the area and we're watching them closely for you. So far, so good in the upstate, but there are three individual areas we're watching with both eyes, so to speak. Let me show you what's happening right now. Our Doppler radar, I can't tell you enough. Uh, it, it is crucial in situations like that, giving us that minute by minute imagery and data that is just so crisp and gives us instant looks at where there are action going on. In this case, there are three cells. You can see them. This is literally instant information from live super Doppler 40. You can see those three cells. There's one. There's two. There's that third one. Notice how they wrap up. Yeah, they're trying. They're trying to rotate, but right now the atmosphere that these cells are moving into are just worked over from the rain and the storms earlier today. So yes, very heavy rainfall moving into the most populated area of the upstate right now from easily to Greenville into Simpsonville Greer point southbound. I mean, those are the most populated concentrated areas of the upstate and it's it's a dangerous situation situation we got to watch closely and then we've been watching this stuff in Georgia that has consolidated in one line as well. Right now, both situations are showing improving conditions. We don't have the red and the green meeting and the twisting and the turning. We do have some feisty rain and some thunderstorms out of it, though. But notice how much cooler it is in areas like Spartanburg and Greenville 79 and Anderson at 73 in Asheville. Now tomorrow morning, we'll wake up to the upper 60s. Some showers certainly possible, but improving tonight. The storms are over with over the next hour or so. The rain, it could linger off and on into the overnight. Tomorrow will be a much different day. We'll see a little bit more sunshine. Therefore, temperatures will be considerably warmer than today. It was a nice treat today with how cool it was. Tomorrow, 20 to 30 percent chance of afternoon storms. Many of us will stay dry. Watching that closely in these areas. Uh, fog possible in the morning in the mountains. Temperatures getting into the low to mid 80s with again an isolated shower or thunderstorm. We'll top out at 85 in Spartanburg, 86 in Greenville and 84 in Asheville. Latest computer model shows the mess that's over us right now pushes out over the next hour. We're left with some showers maybe some low clouds or fog tonight, but tomorrow's looking like a better day. We'll have some sunshine by three, four, five o'clock into the early evening hours. Some thunderstorms are possible. They'll roll on south and we'll wake up to a much different kind of atmosphere this weekend with lots more sunshine and back to the summer heat upper 80s to around 90 degrees. Here's Sunday. We're mainly dry. But here comes another front that will spark some thunderstorms Sunday and Monday across the area. It's a slow mover this time of the year. You can't expect anything different than that. It'll give us the possibility of some thunderstorms through Monday, and then we're back to the pop up variety type thunderstorms most of next week. How about temperatures? Well, we look to be above average uh, back to that our old ways, right? The latest outlook gets us into the middle to third week of August. It looks like temperatures are going to be ranging a few degrees above normal, which would be 92 to 95. So the four day looks like this 84 degrees tomorrow, still a bit below average. We're back to the upper 80s on Saturday, upper 80s on Sunday. We're at 90 on Monday with enhanced chance for some thunderstorms as that front rolls through. Finally crosses through and we're back to just the pop up variety Tuesday, Wednesday and a Thursday in Western North Carolina. Spotty showers or a thunderstorm possible tomorrow. Slightly better chances going into Sunday, Monday's time frame.